It took from Pelican Rapids to Fargo for me to contact somebody who had heroin. And I got back to Fargo and I got some. And um, I did the tiniest amount, I mean, and I, I overdosed and I died. The only way I knew how to stop the pain that I was feeling in my chest, you know, was to use. And the stealing and the heroin kind of went hand in hand, you know. Heroin takes away your morals, it takes away your, you know, you don't care about anything. Jessica, you shared earlier when we were talking that you'd had a recent relapse. Uh, tell us how the Free Through Recovery team, your peer support team, how they responded and how this might have been different than earlier relapses you might have had? They saw it coming and I didn't even see it coming. Um, they were worried about me and that's when they had showed up um, and I, I didn't even know I was going to relapse but they did somehow. <laughs> The look on my PO's face wasn't anger. He wasn't mad at me. He, he wasn't trying to punish me. He didn't bring me to jail. He wanted me safe. These people cared, and I haven't had that. Free Through Recovery is a new and innovative program. I think it holds a lot of potential. Any new program has growing pains, but I think as we see more and more people um, being impacted positively by it, that it's a model that can be expanded to not just the criminal justice population, but other individuals who are dealing with addiction and mental health issues. We know that in North Dakota, over 98% of the people that are in our system are gonna get back out again, and we're fortunate to have an entire team of people, leaders uh, across our correction and rehabilitation that are really focusing on the idea that we need to make better neighbors, not better prisoners. Some of the key things that we focus on in in Free Through Recovery are two key components. One is care coordination, which is the connection to a care coordinator to develop a care plan that's based on the individual's needs. But we also add peer support services, and what's so special about peer support services is getting connected with someone who has lived experience that's similar to your own. I help Jessica with just about anything she needs, um, taking her to appointments, to interviews, to probation. Um, anything I can do to help her stay sober, I will, I'm willing to do makes me do budget sheets so I can budget my money. <laughs> um, she does a lot more than that. What's happening is there's really a movement in our state that's really focusing on recovery. More people are talking about the disease of addiction, which is helping to eliminate the shame and stigma. Justice reinvestment in North Dakota made a great move forward 18 months ago. We had all three branches of government in North Dakota uh, that came together. It's been great for taxpayers. It's the great thing for the people that are coming out of the system. It's been great about keeping people, uh, you know, from moving into the correction system. And it has uh, been fantastic. What Justice Reinvestment did is it really looked at what was driving the numbers, driving the numbers of people into prison driving um, the crimes that were being committed. So it really persuaded policymakers to invest in those resources in the community. I guess the best thing I've ever done for myself in recovery is ask for help. And that's the honest truth. Whoever you're asking the first time, you don't get the help you need, keep asking.